The centenary of the Balfour Declaration is upon us. It was a statement made by the British Foreign Minister in 1917, after around three years of passing around the document um, behind the scenes, they came to a decision on what to present for a plan for the future. It was a destructive ambiguity for Palestinian people, but a creative ambiguity for the Zionist movement. It is incumbent upon us at this time to make clear without any ambiguity that we are opposed to British policy regarding the Palestinian cause and Zionist encroachment upon Palestinian land. At the same time, we are able to contextualize the Balfour Declaration within the history of the British Empire as something that was seized upon, particularly during the British mandate for Herbert Samuel I, um, High Commissioner, British High Commissioner of Palestine, to lay the foundation for the apartheid state from separate institutions, educationally, in terms of healthcare and otherwise. It really paved the way for the realizing of the idea of division of labor and dividing people upon this basis. What then followed was rebellions and eventually the Nakba. What is also important for us to be cognizant of at this time is that power does not take place in a vacuum. We cannot read history with a top-heavy teleological deterministic perception. We must be aware that all throughout this history there were heroes like Mahib al-Khurshid, like Ibrahim Tuqan, like uh, Muhammad Jamjum wa Fuad al-Hijazi and others and many, many, many millions more. We must know their names as we know Balfour and Chaim Wiseman. But in saying that, it is absolutely important for all of us to mobilize in the largest way possible for the 4th of November and make our voices absolutely heard so that the Prime Minister of Britain who wants to talk about cele celebrating the Balfour Declaration realizes that the way we see it and the way even at the time Chaim Wiseman's greatest nemesis within the British government, Edwin Montagu, saw it, this is a mark of shame upon the history of this country. Make it right for Palestine, Balfour 100, November 4th.